hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is april 18th and today's actually supposed to be my wedding day um but obviously due to the whole pandemic um we had to postpone but we are still going to celebrate today because we got matching tattoos that say this date and apparently that's bad luck before you when you get a tattoo before the actual date happens but i mean too late um <laughs> luckily we're already legally married we got legally married in november um for like benefit reasons but you know it still kind of sucks after you put like all of this hard work into planning a big event like this um like we've had so many bumps in the road to get to this day and then to like have it not happen just kind of sucks so we're gonna celebrate anyways today um and i figured i would do my makeup like i was going to do my makeup today anyways um so that's what i'm here to do i have my under eye patches on i have my little tizzy right here it's the champagne rosé flavor, you know, so I can pretend like I'm being even more celebratory. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna take off these things now. They've been sitting for a while since I've been doing my hair. I'm gonna apply some chapstick. This is just the Laneige sleeping mask. Um, I use this like day and night, it really doesn't matter. Um, okay, so I'm first gonna start off with my um, Alima Pure Smooth and Prime Primer. This is my absolute like favorite mattifying, pore minimizing primer. Um, all of, or at least I would say all the products besides two that I'm using today are either clean beauty or like cleaner beauty besides my brow gel and my lip liner those are the only two things that are not clean beauty but everything else is going to be fully clean beauty i'm going to show you guys that you can totally do a glam look using clean beauty and these are all the products that i was going to use on my actual wedding day and i will use on my actual wedding day when we do have our actual wedding which will hopefully be in july but we will see <laughs> don't know how these things are gonna go yet. I'm then gonna go in with my Juice Beauty um, Illuminating Primer. Literally have a backup of this too. It's honestly like my favorite, <laughs> my favorite glowy primer except when it does that and explodes everywhere. Luckily I'm wearing a robe and not the white dress I'm going to wear. <laughs> And I do have SPF on already. I use the Tula um, Low SPF. And it sits so beautifully under makeup. And it doesn't have a white cast, so it will definitely like not ruin your photos. And then I'm gonna go in with my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I have the shade Corsica. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of the Ilia liquid light. This is in the shade Nova and it's super, super pretty. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I'm applying it with my hand and then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. So I'm just taking a bump of the foundation and I'm just gonna take a little squirt of the liquid light, mix together. And this is just gonna give like a really pretty glow. I just spread it around my face with my fingers. And I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and blend that out. Foundation really does layer beautifully on top of itself. It never looks cakey or heavy, which I love. My bridesmaid for the day. I'm gonna next go in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have this guy in the shade four, and I'm just gonna use this to conceal and also under my eyes. I 
before I set everything, I'm gonna go in with my Aluma Pure Eye Primer and just put some of this on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go in with my Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I'm gonna do a little extra that I would normally do and then I'm gonna wipe it away. And then I'm also gonna go in with my Lima Pure Satin Finishing Powder in the shade Hane or Hane, Hane, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a super pretty, um, it's got a little bit of tint to it, but it's just like a very light, glowy um, setting powder. Um, like it just kind of gives you like a really nice overall sheen, but like, not like glittery or over the top or like too shiny, anything like that. It just gives you like really nice like glow. I'm just gonna take that all over my face as well. And I'm just gonna take like a little flat um, contour brush. I'm gonna go in with my Han bronzer. This is in the shade Malibu. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of contouring, not too much. I'm definitely not leaving it like this. I'm gonna blend it out after. I'm just kind of placing it where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna take a little stippling brush. This is my Elf Lore stipple brush. And I'm gonna go in with my Cover Effects bronzer. This is the Monochromatic Bronzer Duo in sun-kissed bronze. Looks like that. I'll take the matte side and just kind of bronze the base. I'm gonna go in with a couple bronzing products just because your girl likes to be super bronzed. And it might look like super crazy right now, but I swear when I finish everything, it'll all come together. Last one, I'm gonna go in with my Arbonne Starlight Glow Palette. And I'm gonna take the matte and shimmery bronzer together. The shimmery one is Twilight, and then the matte one is called Meteor. I'm just gonna take a little bit of both. And this is just to kind of give me a little bit more glow. And I like to put it like across my nose too to kind of make me look more bronzed. <laughs> I can never look too bronzed. And then I'm gonna go in with my Saint Cosmetics 24K Glow Highlighter. This highlighter is so good. It's like buttery and it just leaves you so glowy, but it's not like chunky glitter. And I use like a bigger brush because I'm not afraid to pack on that glow, like look at that. It is not chunky at all, it just makes you look like a super healthy glowing goddess, which we all want. It has definitely replaced my beloved Champagne Pop highlighter from Becca. You guys know that I was obsessed with that highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals um, Bounce and Blur blush in the shade Blurred Buff. It is such a tongue twister to say that, I swear, every time. It's such like a pretty, um, it kind of has a sheen to it. It's a really interesting formula. It feels like almost a cream, but then when you apply it, it turns into a powder. And it's like, it has a sheen to it, but it's definitely not glittery at all. It just gives your face like such a healthy glow. And also, this color is like a very neutral nude which is like what I want. I don't want anything too bright. Just like that perfect flush. And I'm definitely gonna go a little bit overboard because blush always fades first. And I always do blush last because it kind of blends the highlighter and the bronzer together so it doesn't look like one harsh line of highlight. Put a little bit on my chin, put a little bit across the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my eyelids and then i even put a little bit on like the temples right there oh i forgot i was gonna put a little bit of the ilia um color haze in the shade waking up 
I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take this like little blending brush from Nude Sticks and just kinda, I'm gonna kinda put it on the apples of the cheeks to give me a more of a rosy flush. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Ilia setting powder and my sponge. And I'm just gonna kind of clean up that line right there. Just so it's not so harsh. I'm just gonna take a clean um, fluffy brush and just wipe that away. See, I'm actually just kind of cleaned everything up. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my bronzer brush and just kind of mesh those two together. I'm gonna use the Eco Brow Defining Pencil. This is in the shade Light Brunette. Not a big fan of like the spoolie on this guy, but the pencil itself is really good. Panacore. For my brow gel, I'm using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This thing is like cement for your eyebrows. If you have super long eyebrow hairs like I do, you need this if you like that bushy brow look because I can push my brow hairs up all the way like this and it'll stay like that all day. It's so hard for me to find a brow gel that I like, especially a clean one. This is obviously not clean, but I have not found a clean one that can do what this does, which is why I have not switched over to a clean brow gel yet so if y'all have any recommendations let me know for a clear brow gel that works just as good as this one now for eyes i'm gonna be using the um lawless v1 palette and i'm gonna go in with the shade complicated right there it's just like a neutral brown i'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush just take this in the crease and kind of all over the lid the eyes are gonna be super simple but also like really bronzy <laughs> i'm gonna go in with that same color and like a pencil brush and take it under my lower lash line Take a smaller, like flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go in with this color. It's called Play Cool, and I'm gonna take this on the outer V and just gonna place it like where I want to define the outer V right there. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean, smaller fluffy brush and blend that out. I'm gonna go back in with the original fluffy brush I used and that it's complicated or just complicated shade and blend all that together. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe. This is just like a really pretty bronze color. I'm gonna take that all over the lid and then I'm gonna go in with a clean shader brush and kind of just spread that out. I'm gonna go in with the Olima Pure um, Luminous Shimmer Eyeshadow in the shade of Brown Sugar. And I take some into the cap. That way I just kind of blend that all in there and then I'm gonna take that on my lid. Last thing I'm gonna go in with my RMS eye polish. This is in the shade Solar. It's this super freaking gorgeous cream eyeshadow. Oh, and it gives such pretty sheen. I always do this last because it definitely creases. But like, oh, so pretty. And I just kind of use it as like a top coat. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, blend those edges, and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and clean up right there. Just take a little angle brush and. Manicore. And 
then I'm just gonna set everything with my Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Honest Beauty mascara. And then we will be back to finish up. I'm also mixing some of my Arbonne's Peak Volumes mascara. So good. It gives you that like really dramatic lash effect because I would normally have lash extensions for this, but you know, with coronavirus and all, that wasn't happening. Such a good mascara. And last but not least, I'm gonna go into my Lawless um, liquid lipstick in the shade George. And then I'm gonna take my MAC uh, lip pencil in this shade Subculture and I just kinda line, I line my lips last. I know it's really weird, but I just feel like it shows better. I kinda like to blend everything. And then I'm gonna go in with my Fit Glow Beauty. This is the lip color serum in the shade Beach Glow. Okay, and this is the final look. Um, I'm gonna go get dressed now and go enjoy some champagne and celebrate with my husband. And yeah, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at HolisticList. I post clean beauty and recipes and all that fun stuff and I post daily on there. So if you guys want to see more of this face, <laughs> go follow me there. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.